My head throbs, I groaned, feeling as though parasites were wriggling inside my brain. How did this happen? A startling case of pork tapeworm brain infection, detailed in the American Journal of Case Reports, sheds light on the dangers of consuming undercooked meat. A 52-year-old man residing in Orlando, Florida, sought medical attention due to persistent migraines. Despite medication, his headaches persisted over for months. Upon examination, doctors discovered cysts and swelling in both hemispheres of his brain. Infectious disease specialists identified pig tapeworms as the culprit, laying eggs and causing irritation under the skull. CT and MRI scans revealed multiple cysts in his brain, leading to a diagnosis of parasitic neurocysticercosis NCC. This condition occurs when larval cysts of the pork tapeworm infect various body parts, triggering inflammation. The patient admitted to frequently consuming undercooked bacon, suggesting he likely contracted parasites through this practice. Remarkably, he hadn't recently traveled abroad or eaten raw foods. Experts speculate that the parasite entered his body through undercooked meat, then migrated from the intestines to the brain via the bloodstream. This case underscores the rarity of encountering infected pork in the United States and highlights potential public health concerns. It's truly astonishing, remarked the doctors, emphasizing the importance of safe food practices to prevent such infections. Following his transfer to the intensive care unit, the patient underwent treatment with dexamethasone, a corticosteroid administered for times daily to alleviate brain swelling. Additionally, a two-week course of albanazole and praziquantel, medications used to combat parasitic infections, led to the disappearance of cysts and a marked improvement in migraine symptoms. This live case study detailing parasitic infection was recently published in the American Journal of Case Reports the National Institutes of Health NIH estimates that between 1320 to 5,050 cases of neurocysticercosis occur annually in the United States. Infection typically arises from ingesting microscopic eggs found in the stool of individuals with intestinal tapeworms, a phenomenon known as auto-infection. Transmission can also occur through close contact with individuals harboring tapeworms or consuming food prepared by infected individuals. The infection predominantly afflicts rural regions of developing nations where pigs freely roam, ingesting human waste, and in locales with inadequate sanitation. Symptoms of neurocysticercosis vary based on the cyst's location. Within the brain, common manifestations include confusion, diminished attention to surroundings, balance disturbances, and hydrocephalus. Characterized by excess fluid accumulation in the brain, seizures afflict roughly 80% of neurocysticercosis patients and may emerge months or years post-infection, typically coinciding with cyst degeneration.